New York City honors the victims of COVID-19 during a somber ceremony, exactly one year since the city's first recorded death related to the virus. Ron Lee joining us now from Elmhurst Hospital, which was overwhelmed this time last year as case numbers started to climb. Ron? Anthony, it really is staggering. Over the past year, New York City alone lost more than 30,000 lives due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And while many New Yorkers will never forget the strain that Elmhurst Hospital experienced when it was considered the epicenter of the crisis, some New Yorkers today offered a message of hope on this citywide day of remembrance. removing their masks once they reached a distance of at least six feet apart. The Young People's Chorus of New York City offered this virtual performance from Lincoln Center. Their choice of song, the Broadway classic, You'll Never Walk Alone. These youngsters were paying tribute not only to New Yorkers who had lost their lives due to COVID-19, they were also offering a message of hope to those who love them. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. That sentiment was echoed by Mayor de Blasio and First Lady Shirlane McRae at the city's official COVID-19 memorial ceremony Sunday night to observe one year since the first confirmed death from coronavirus in New York City. This is a difficult night for so many families, but it is such an important one too. For all COVID has stolen from us, one of the hardest realities is not being able to grieve together. More New Yorkers lost than in World War II, Vietnam, Hurricane Sandy, and 9-11 put together. Every family touched in some way. Over the past year, more than 30,000 New Yorkers have died due to the virus. While participating in a virtual event that featured many clergy and politicians from Upper Manhattan, one woman reflected on losing an aunt who was like a second mother to her early in the pandemic. It's losing your mother. It's losing your best friend. It's losing, you know, the person that you see every day. But um, I know she's happy. She's with God. She's at peace. Hard for many of us to believe, but exactly one year ago, on March 14th, 2020, Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo confirmed that the very first person to die in New York City from coronavirus was an 82-year-old woman who had suffered from emphysema. Reporting from Queens, Ron Lee, New York One. Anthony. All right, Ron, thanks.